Matthew chapter 10, verse number 1. And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits <clears throat> to cast them out. Yeah. That's the power he gave. Right. Right. Not, not to command them, not to do anything. Only that it was here. I'm giving you the, the authority to cast them out. Praise the Lord. Praise the and Lord. to heal all manner of sickness. All right. And all manner of disease. Now the names of the twelve apostles were these. The first, Simon, who was called Peter. Andrew, his brother. James, the son of Zebedee. And John, his brother. <coughs> Philip, and Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the publican. James, the son of Alphaeus. And, and, and uh, Levius, whose surname was Thaddeus. Simon, the Canaanite. And Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. Amen. When he had called unto him and his twelve disciples, he gave them power. Praise Amen. the Lord. Let's pray today and ask God to help us. Y'all, we love you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. We ask you, God, to help us in this message. God, to help us to get it in our heart. Lord, let me, let me give this the way you give it to me, God. Help me, Jesus. Let your anointing flow on me. I want to do a good job. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord. In Jesus' name. You can be seated. Amen. I just want to preach to you just for a little while. Just a little thought. And this is elementary, but it's what I feel in my heart. <clears throat> on the subject, or the title of my message today, is... On the list of who's who. Are you on the list of who's who? Amen. Amen. Now, uh, when you hear that phrase, you automatically think, you know, Forbes. You've got their list. Right. Vanity Fair. Knows that magazine. And, and uh, the Wall Street Journal. And, uh, you've got all the famous celebrities. Uh, now they may not know all of their fans, but their fans know them, right? To a degree. Man, if, if we named a famous person today, uh, I don't know. Uh, generally speaking, everybody will recognize that name. Amen. In basketball, everybody knows who the best guy is. Last name is James. Yes. <coughs> oh, amen. 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 Now that might be arguable, but the point is, is everybody knows that name, just like everybody in the '90s knew who. Jordan. Michael Jordan. Amen. When you think of the music industry, several names come to mind. In whatever genre you want to go into, country, there's a name. Pop, there's a name. Rock. There's a name. Yeah. And when all of these people get together in the same room, they have a list of guests of who's who. Amen. I want to talk about a different list today. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, and I'm so glad that when Jesus called us and anointed us, Amen. Every every one of us. Did you know you have the power to cast out unclean spirits out of your home? Yes. Amen. 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 You have the power to reach over and pray for a family member and heal all manner of sickness and Praise disease. The Lord. Amen. It's just not, it's not just limited to the ministry. Come on. Now I know that once you get in the presence of the ministry, then the ministry has its job. Right. Amen. <laughs> And if, there, if you're in the presence of ministry, then it's rude or out of place to go and lay your hands on an individual in a church setting. You know what I'm saying? Let the ministry do that. Right. Or let the ministry call. And even though you have a burden for them and you feel, man, I, I really feel I need to go pray. And pray for her 
I pray for him and his sickness. I'm just telling you God has a order. Now, if you're out and about or you're at home, that's you, you're okay. Man. Praise the Lord. That's just how I feel about it. Praise the Lord. And uh, but he gave them power, and I'm so glad that God gave us power. Amen. Do you sometimes we don't even realize what's available <laughs> through the spirit. And uh, but once once we start getting a hold of this and getting a hold of that, it's like, man. It's like when somebody gets the Holy Ghost for the first time, they're like, wow. I went all these years without it. How in the world could I do that? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And, uh, and so I'm so thankful that God has given us power. Now, uh, Jesus called the 12 disciples and he named every one of them here. And of course we know that Judas Iscariot was the one that betrayed him and fell. And, uh, and then of course he was replaced um, with, uh, with another <coughs> In the book of Acts. And, uh, but in another place in the scripture, Luke chapter 10, verse 17, it says, And the 70 returned with joy. The Lord sent 70 men out. And uh, they returned with joy, saying, the, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he already gave them power when he called the 12. Right. Amen. But they were coming back happy because they was able to uh, to tell the devils what to do, and the devils did it in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, don't go up to the uh, devil possessed person and 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 talk to that devil like you're fixing to fight him, because your stomach is going to get hurt. Right. Right. How many remember the story? I think it was <coughs> told back in Durant, Brother Sal when he was still alive uh, <coughs> and was casting out devils. Um, I, it may not have happened in that church, but the story was told there. You may not remember it. They were casting out devils, and this preacher, uh, he's young, inexperienced, but he's full of zeal. And, and he's, he's praying, and he, you know, he wasn't just... Uh, he done something he shouldn't have done. And he walked over to that devil and he said, pick on somebody of your own sex. And the wrong thing to say. So that dude reared back and, and through the power of that devil that was in him, reared back and hit that, give that dude an uppercut. And everybody that was there witnessed it that the guy literally flew through the air and hit the wall. And he didn't land on his feet. Okay? But now, that devil was cast out through the name of Jesus. Right. Amen. So we, we don't have any power of our own court. Right. Amen. Amen. But it's all through the name of Jesus. And Amen. The, and, the, and the 70 come back and they're happy and they're rejoicing. Hallelujah, the devils are subject unto us. And, and Jesus is listening to all this. And he just he just says, Yeah. I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Right. Jesus was there <coughs> because he's the one that cast him out. Right. Right, right. He's telling the he's telling the disciples of the 70, I saw him when he failed. Praise the Lord. And then he says, Behold, I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all power of the enemy. Who's the enemy? Satan, the right. devil, right. spiritual warfare. Amen. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Now this is the report he's given back to the jubilant crowd. Wow, they're, they're, they're listening to us. They're obeying our voice by your name. Yeah. Amen. And he said, notwithstanding, in this rejoice not. Don't be happy because the devils are subject to you. But rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Hallelujah. Well, if we could just get on that 
list. Yeah. yeah. We can get on the list of who's who there. Yeah. 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 Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. I don't yeah. care what it takes, God. I want to yeah. be on that yeah. list. Hallelujah. God, if you want me to go here, I'll go here. If you want me to go there, I'll go there. If you want me to preach this message, I'll preach this message. Amen. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Lord, if you want me to give up whatever, I'll give up whatever. Amen. If you want me to uh, accept something, Lord, that I'm not accustomed to, then I want to accept it, God. Yes. If that's what it takes to get my name on that book. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Or in heaven. Hallelujah. Jesus. How many know God's got a book? Yes. I do. Hallelujah. Well, amen. He said in Matthew chapter 7, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Not everybody that says, Lord, Lord, right. But he that doeth the will of my Father. He said, Many will say to me in that day, what day? On judgment day. Right. Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? We've heard a lot of prophecies over the years. Mm -hmm. Amen. In thy name ha have cast out devils. And the 70 was rejoicing over what? Yeah. That the devils were subject unto them. Many, there are many people who can cast out devils. Right. <laughs> oh, man. I hope come you're on. following me. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. There are many people with the gift of prophecy. Right. Hallelujah. And in thy name done many wonderful works. Jesus. It sounds like somebody who knows a little something about salvation and the Holy Ghost. Right. And baptism in Jesus' name. Come on. Praise the Lord. Now, did you, do you realize that there are people in, in other churches who've gotten their healing? There's been healings in Baptist church. Right. There's been healings in the Catholic church. Right. There's been healings wherever there's faith. Right. Right. Your healing does not have anything to do with the salvation of your soul. It has everything to do with your faith. Right. And believing in Jesus. Amen. Lord. Now, hopefully, because of the good things that God's doing, amen, they'll be led to repentance and, and, and the way of salvation. Amen. Right. Praise the Lord. But he said, many in that day will say, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. Come on. And in thy name have done many wonderful works. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Mm. Well, but I'm healing people and I'm casting out devils. Come on. And I'm doing many wonderful works and Come I'm on. prophesying. Yeah. Man, I'm hooked up. Come on, right? Great. I got it going on. Yeah. I could I could start naming the, a list of all the great men that we know that's preached this gospel, amen, and and ones that we've listened to over the years. Well, I mean, and you, and you really don't want to just go to name and name, especially when when every message these days is recorded, right, and sent out. But listen, put your favorite preacher's name in this spot. People go to his go to the services where he's preaching because <coughs> they know there's healings gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Or they go to the meeting. How many know that if so and so is gonna be there, there's gonna be a large crowd. Right. Because he's a good preacher. Right. He's a good teacher. He feeds the soul. Man, Amen. healings happen, prophecies happen, and, and everybody, and it's so wonderful, and the crowds just pile in because so and so is there. Man, but did you know there's going to be instances where that those same types of individuals will be in judgment, 
and say, Lord, have we not? Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, but this is while you were uh, behind the curtain where nobody knew, nobody saw. You know what? That money's going to be dri directed right to that wickedness that they're doing. Right. Come on. Even though they're healing folks, even though they're prophesying, only God knows the heart. Right, right. Well, right. hallelujah. And he's going to say to our favorite preacher, depart from me, you work of iniquity. Hallelujah. I, I hope it's not my favorite preacher, but it's going to be somebody's favorite preacher right. that's going to be doing this very scripture. Jesus said, many will say to me in that day. Right. Right. Hallelujah. That's why I'm not going to name any names uh, of all the great men of God in my life and that I've heard throughout the years because I don't want it to be any one of them. Right. right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But I will tell you this. It's going to be somebody that has experienced the power of God. Right. right. And they're going to say, Lord, we've done all of this stuff. Yeah, yeah but you got iniquity working. Come on. Come right. on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise the name of the yeah. Lord. He said, don't rejoice in the fact that the devils are subject unto you. Right. Amen. Do you, do you, do you believe that this little church has the power to send the devil a flight? Yes. Amen. Send him running. Amen. There, it, there is nothing that can come against this church that we can't conquer or overcome right. Right. through the power of God that yes. works yes. in us. Yes. We don't have to be succumbed to depression. Come we on. don't have to be oppressed. That's we right. don't have to be down in the dumps. Wow. We don't have to be on the verge of giving up. Right. Right. Man, because of the power of God that works in us and the love right. of God. Amen. Amen. And the unity and the compassion. Yes. Right. Yes. Amen. We don't want just us. We want we want everybody that we come in contact yes. to yes. feel the compassion and the love of God. Right. So that they can experience the Holy Ghost for right. themselves right. and get their names written down yes. in that book. Yes. That should be what drives us right. in everything we do. Praise we paint the, the walls because we want it to look good. Praise but we want it to look good for the people that will come in. Yes. Amen. Come on, we don't write on the walls and put gum Hallelujah. under the chairs and, right. and leave the floors in vacuum because right. we want it to be acceptable yes. to those that come yes. in because ultimately we want them to get the Holy Ghost. Yes. Fall in love with God. But if we forget to take the trash out, if we forget to wash the windows, come on, if we forget to upkeep the house of God, oh, they're not going to be interested in the Holy Ghost that we have, that we focused on the mess we've created. Amen. Come on, so we've got to do something, Lord, to attract it. And it's the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's why we make things look nice. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Glory. I don't want to do anything that would cause someone to be repelled no. from this place. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, Lord. Lord, he's looking what you've done, but he's also looking a little bit, a little bit closer. Amen. Exodus chapter 32, verse 32, Moses was speaking here, and God is angry with the children of Israel because they made them a golden calf. And he said, yet now if thou wilt forgive their sin, Moses is telling God here, forgive their sin. And if not, blot me, I pray thee, out of thy book, which thou hast written. Now, he's trying to stand in the gap. Right. God, forgive them. Don't yes. wipe them out. Yes. If, if you don't forgive, then blot me out. Uh -huh. If you don't forgive them, then take me off the list as well. Now, that's bold. 
If you don't forgive my family and my friends, then just I'm done too. Take me out. That's what he said. Yeah. Amen. Now, of course, God had an answer. He said, Whosoever hath sinned against me, him will I blot out. He got right back with he got right back at Moses. Yeah. Right. Um, listen. <laughs> Moses, you can't take the place of their sins. Right. As a matter of fact, there's only one person that can take it. Right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Right. Uh, yeah. I'm so glad Jesus came and died on the cross. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He's the only one that could do it. Uh, He's the only one who could take all of yeah. the sins yeah. of the past yeah. and all of the sins of the present yeah. and all of the future sins. Yeah. Come on and stretch his body out on that cross right. and die to clean it all up. Right. Moses couldn't do it. Aaron couldn't do it. Come on, David couldn't do it. Addressed the Lord, he undoubtedly referred by faith to the book of God's remembrance. Amen. Moses was speaking by faith. God, if you don't forgive them, then brought my name out of the book that's in heaven. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, you know what? What I what I read and from what I understand of the scripture, the moment I got the Holy Ghost, and after I repented of my sins and got the Holy Ghost and, and, and I got baptized in Jesus' name, I began to live. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I was no longer dead yes. in yes. sin. Yes. Dead to sin. Risen up in baptism to a new life. Right. And I'm considered among the living. Praise right. the Lord. I'm still in the registry of the yes. living. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Right. Come on. If I can keep myself from doing wicked things. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about falling short or, or, or making mistakes. I'm talking yeah. about actively doing wickedness. Right. Right. Praise right. the name of the Lord. Right. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you know what? There was the scholars, uh, they, they, uh, all, uh, many of them agreed that the, that the Ten Commandments, the one of the, one of the commandments was thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Right. right. 
the common uh, the common theme about that is uh, don't curse with God's name in the curse. Uh -huh. But but they bring out a, a a different perspective on this. Praise the Lord. In the Hebrew language. And, and the actual word take there in the scripture. It, there's a whole list of, of, of uh, different things that it means. But predominantly it means care. Thou shalt not carry the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Well, what, what does this mean, brother? Man, what are you trying to say? And, and, and I think what they were getting at as far as the customs of the Jewish people that God was talking about don't do wickedness in the name of God. Right. Come on. Amen. And the same experts say that well, hallelujah. The same experts say uh -huh. that you can contribute atheism. The amount of pe uh, people who claim to be atheists uh, are directly uh, linked. They made their decision to become atheists. It's directly linked to uh, Islamic extremists. Well, what's the link? Why do they associate I become an atheist because of this group of people? It's simple. Because this group of people do what they do in the name of God. Right. That's right. That's right. It's an abomination to the Lord. Yeah. Right. Don't you steal, lie, steal, cheat, and lie and, and do it in my name. Right. 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 Well, right. Glory. Come on. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm going to rob a bank. Come on. And I'm going to tell them I'm doing it on your behalf. Right. What are you going to say to me? All right, no way, Jack. Right. I don't have nothing to do with you. Right. Yeah. And if they come looking for you, based on what I say, you're going to be angry. Right. Uh, Upset, hurt, come bitter, on, Richard, come mad. On, come on. And if you have the power within you at all to, to revenge yourself or do something to me, you will. Right. Because right. how dare somebody do that in my name? Right. right. Come on. How dare somebody steal my identity? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, it happens every day. Come on. Right. Come on. Hallelujah. Good. Come on. And Good they're stuff. doing things. Yeah. Come on. Have you have you ever had somebody steal your credit card information and buy something over in right. Germany pretending to be you? Right. Well, glory. Come on. Come on. Don't you do it. Don't you do it, Israelites. Don't you don't you go about doing wicked things right. and say I do this in the name of God? Yeah, Amen. yeah. Makes sense to me. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Well, I just put a little kink in your theology about right. taking the names the name of the Lord That's in vain. That's good. That's right. Good. Praise the Lord. Good stuff. And besides that. <laughs> When you put God before a curse word, God is not a name. Right. Right. We love God, but his name is Jesus. Amen. It ain't God. Right. Amen. Well, right. hallelujah. Let me move. He that overcometh, Revelation 3, 5. The same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. I will confess his name before my father. And before his angels. Hallelujah. The angels ain't going away. They're just scooting over, making a little room. Hey, oh, here's Brother Smith. Right? Mm -hmm. I know this guy. Mm -hmm. Hey, here's James. Mm -hmm. Here's Dole. Yeah. I know this guy. Right. I know these people. The I know this woman. I know this man. Yeah. Angels, let me introduce you 
to the newest member of the kingdom. Right. I, mean, I, don't, I don't care what I got to do, Brother Aaron. Just let me be on that list. Yeah. I don't care yeah. what kind of power comes with it. I don't oh. care what kind of glory. I, I just want my name on the list. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Have you ever noticed how, how uh, antsy and intense uh, uh, people get when they're on their deathbed? Come on. They start searching and looking. Yeah. Even the atheist told his son, said, you know what? This is a good philosophy to live by, but it's not a good one to die by. Right, Why? Right. Because somewhere down in, the, in his heart somewhere, he had a question. Uh, and that question was there all along. Yes, you know yes. what? I, I hope I'm doing right. Come on, come because on. he didn't know what was on the other side yes. of death. Uh, uh, of that, that passage. Now, I can tell you what I think my grandmother's doing today, uh -huh. but I can't tell you for sure. Right. 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 Amen. I can tell you what I think heaven's going to be like, right. but I don't know for sure. Come on. Come I can on. tell you what I think judgment day is going to sound yeah. like, yeah. or what hell's going to look like, uh -huh. or feel like, uh -huh. or sound like, but I don't know for sure. Right. Why? Because I'm not over in that realm. Right. right. Hallelujah, but I know that the God of heaven decided at one some point I'm going to come to earth, I'm going to be a man, and I'm going to say things, and you know what? Everybody that hears my voice and receives my word, come on, and believes on me, as the scripture has said, I'll make sure out of their belly shall flow rivers of living water. But he said, those that don't believe my word, they will die. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to make a way yeah. that I can make, I can, I'm going to give them an opportunity to do what it takes to get their name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Now, Revelation 3, 5, he's talking to uh, John. And he said, he that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. Now, you've got to understand he's, this, he's address, addressing the, the seven churches here. In the book of Revelations. Now, in other addresses to the church... Uh, our Lord began with uh, <clears throat> commendation. But no such word is here. He is described in the fullness of his glorious nature. But this church is full of unfulfilled works. And this is the church he's talking to here. The, the one of the seven churches here. What a striking phrase and how true. We began and do not finish. We skirt the edges but do not penetrate to the heart are superficial and fragmentary. Oh, God, help me not to be this. I mean, how few can say with the Master, I have finished the work. And of how few it can be said, as by Paul talking about John the Baptist, he fulfilled his course. In Acts 13, 25, Paul is talking about John the Baptist fulfilling his course. And then later on, Paul said, I have finished my course. Yeah. I have fought the good fight of faith. Yeah. I finished my course. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. The Lord. Amen. Praise There's the Lord. something about finishing what you start. Right. Amen. There are four evidences, evidences of spiritual life. In a living church, there will be growth. Compassion, unity, and love. Right. And the Lord missed all these and bitterly lamented their absence in his church, in this, that he's given to John. And of what use, what, what use was the fig tree to abate his hunger? 
when it bore leaves but no fruit. Amid all this disappointing formalism, there were few live souls who fulfilled their work and did not defile their robes. Does not this suggest the transfiguration? Remember that? On the holy mount, the holy garment of Jesus shone with light, and so the inner purity of the sun shines through and glorifies in the simplest act. The holiness we love in this life shall be rewarded by the white robe. Hallelujah. And Christ's acknowledgement and the deeds of our heavenly citizenship. Amen. Revelations 13 and 8. All that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Talking about the beast here. I should have said that first. Talking about the beast. Listen to this. All of and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Everybody that's living on this earth and alive at the time shall worship him. Right. The beast. Let me finish. Whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. And he's talking about that spiritual ear. Come on, do you understand? If your name's not written up there, you will worship the beast. You will worship Satan. Satan tempted Jesus. And he took him to a mountain and he said, if you'll fall down and worship me, I'll give you all of this. Right. How many people has he told that to? Come I'll on. make you wealthy. I'll give Come you fame. On. I'll give you fortune. Come on, right. And there are a lot of famous people in the world. Right. Come on. Bill Gates is at the top and, 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 and Jeff Bezos at the top of the list of the richest. Right. Amen. Famous athletes. Yeah. Famous right. singers. Famous politicians, famous activists. Right. Come on, they've got it all. Right. And nearly every one of them have millions in the bank. Right. Hallelujah. Alrighty, and Satan once told Jesus the same thing. Right. If you'll fall down and worship me, yeah. that's what the devil wanted from the very beginning. Right. That's right. what got him kicked out of heaven. Right. He yeah. wanted the glory of God. God to worship him in heaven. Come on, he asked God to do it in heaven. Yeah. And he yeah. got kicked out. That's right. And now he is a second time. Come on. Come hey, on. if you fall down and worship me, I'll Come give on. you it all. Right. Right. Oh, you don't understand, Lucifer. Everything that is and was yeah. was created for me yeah. and by me. Right. Right. Anything that there is, I created it. Kicked him out of heaven for wanting him to do the same thing. Yeah. Up there. Yeah. I guess old habits die hard, right? Right. Hallelujah, Jesus. He was still hungry for the, the glory. Right. Here he said, All the dwell upon the earth shall worship him. <clears throat> Whose name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You know what we need to do? We need to ask God every day. Yes. God, check again. Yes. Is my name still there? Right. Yes. Come on, what yes. have I done anything to take my name off that list? God, is there any wickedness working within me? Come on. Uh, we know. We know the secret things of our heart. We know where we're at. Come on. Yeah. You're not going to blindside God. You're not going to say, well, God, I, I didn't know I was doing that. That's a lie. Right. Come on. Amen. Because all along this life, 
this, this walk of life. Yeah. Come on, we have little things that prick our heart from right. time to time right. when we're doing wrong. Right. It's called a conscience. Yeah. Right. Amen. Praise the Lord. And if you continue in that deed, that conscience becomes calloused. Right. And it no longer bothers you. Yeah. But when you first did it, you felt uh-huh. guilty uh-huh. And, and ugly and dirty and rotten. Right. You know why that happened? Because God made it happen for you. Right. Quit pulling that, pulling that uh, hoop like you're faithful for. Yeah. Amen. Don't do that. All right, go. Don't get involved in that. Yeah. Don't go there. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Well. What does it take to get on the list uh, of who's who? It's going to be you and it's Jesus and a book. Yeah. Oh, Come on, we 
make sure we stay on that. On that list. We know what it takes to get there. Right. Come on, repentance, baptism in Jesus' name, receiving right. of the Holy Ghost. That's what it takes to get on the list. But we got to make sure we stay on the list. I don't. I don't believe that once you're saved, you're always saved. Right. Amen. Amen. Sorry, right, I don't believe that. Man, it's never been true. It's been a lie from right. hell. Thank you. 